one thing scholars do not know, and it is one of the unheard truths of the Bible. There is a book of the Bible. Maybe this is the first time you're going to hear this. No pastor or no religious leaders have preached this uh, since the Catholic Church 2,000 years ago, etc. I just uh, recently taught it to the members of the Church of God that all the apostles and all the elders of the church in the first century wrote a particular book all of them cooperating with one another all the apostles all the elders of the church with the approval of all the members active members of the church they wrote a particular book in the Bible. It's part of the Bible. Maybe you will be surprised which book is this. In the book of Acts, chapter 15, verse 19, I also invite the meticulous attention of our other listeners. Remember, you will hear it first from Brother Eli of the old path from the members of the Church of God International. 1519 of the Book of Acts, rather than you. Wherefore, my sentence is that we trouble not them which from among the Gentiles are turned to God, but that we write unto them that they abstain from pollutions of idols and from fornication, and from things strangled, and from blood. You see, uh, because there was a controversy in Jerusalem that most of the Jews are telling the Gentiles that for them to be saved, they need to be circumcised as it is written in the book of Moses. There was a great debate that happened among the Christian community and at the height of the debate, the Apostle James with the Apostle Peter and the rest of the Apostles decided to end the debate or the argument. That's why Apostle James said, Wherefore my sentence is that we trouble not them which from among the Gentiles are turned to God. Today is January 20, January 20 here in Brazil, 2021. The last day of office of outgoing President Trump of the United States of America. And the first day of office of the incoming president, elected president, uh, Biden. You hear this first in this program. James the Apostle said, My sentence is that we trouble not them, which from among the Gentiles are turned to God, but that we write unto them. You see? The Apostle James suggested, we write unto them that they abstain from pollutions of idols and from fornication and from things strangled and from blood. For Moses of old time hath in every city them that preach him being read in the synagogues every Sabbath day. Please value this moment. That's why I'm giving you the exact date. Today is January 20, 2021, here in Brazil. And the time here in Brazil is 1 o'clock and 51 minutes here in Brazil. 1.51. The Apostle James suggested we write unto them, to the Gentiles. What are they going to write? To write them, for them to abstain from pollutions of idols and from fornication 
and from things he strangled and from blood. 21. For Moses of all time hath in every city them that preach him being read in the synagogues every Sabbath day. 22. Then pleased it the apostles. The suggestion of James pleased the apostles and elders with the whole church to send chosen men of their company to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas, namely Judas surnamed Barsabas and Silas, chief men among the brethren, 23. And they wrote letters by them after this manner. Uh, this, is the, this is the way they wrote. The apostles, the elders, they all have agreed to write an epistle for the Gentiles. They wrote letters by them after this manner. The apostles and elders and brethren send greetings unto the brethren which are of the Gentiles in Antioch, Syria, and Cilicia. 24. For as much as we have heard that certain which went out from us have troubled you with words, subverting your souls, saying, Ye must be circumcised and keep the law, to whom we gave no such commandment. It seemed good to us, being assembled with one accord, to send chosen men unto you with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, men that have hazarded their lives for the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have sent therefore Judas and Silas, who shall also tell you the same thing by mouth. This is the letter they are sending. For it seemed good to the Holy Ghost and to us to lay upon you no greater burden than these necessary things that ye abstain from meats offered to idols, and from blood, and from things strangled, and from fornication, from which, if ye keep yourselves, ye shall do well. Fare ye well. This is the letter. This is a particular epistle written, collaborate the apostles and the elders of the church and the members of the church assembled in Jerusalem, they agreed to write this letter to the Christians in Antioch, in Syria, and in Cilicia. This is a book, this is an epistle that was written not only by, by 10 people, no. It was written with the agreement of the apostles, 12 of them, and plus two, Barnabas and Paul, 14 apostles, and elders. There are many elders in the church that time. And the council of the members, all of them agreed to write. They joined one another, and they agreed one with another in writing this particular epistle that will be sent to Antioch, Syria, and Cilicia. Now, at the last verse we read that he abstained from meats offered to idols and from blood and from things strangled and from fornication from which if ye keep yourselves ye shall do well very well verse 30 so when they were dismissed they came to antioch and when they had gathered the multitude together they delivered the epistle. You see that? The epistle that was written in collaboration with the apostles, the elders, and the members assembled in Jerusalem. There is a particular epistle that they wrote for the members in Syria, Cilicia, and Antioch. This is the one true book of the Bible which was written 
not by only one person, not by only one apostle, but all the apostles present agreed to write this letter and to send it to the Gentiles in Syria, Cilicia, and Antioch. So they know that there are 66 books of the Bible. I beg to disagree. There is another book which they did not notice that were written by the joint efforts of all the apostles, the elders, and the members to prove that Luke was explaining it later in the book of Acts also. 21-25. Let us read, Brother Daniel. As touching the Gentiles which believe, we have written and concluded that they observe no such thing, save only that they keep themselves from things offered to idols, and from blood, and from strangled, and from fornication. You see, this is the book of written by Luke, and in the book written by Luke, he is mentioning that there is a book or an epistle that all the apostles, the elders of the church and the members wrote, all of them joining one another, writing a particular epistle. Later, when the epistle was written, they were sent to Antioch, to Cilicia, and to Syria. And later, Luke recorded also in 21, as touching the Gentiles which believe, we have written and concluded that they observe no such thing, save only that they keep themselves from things offered to idols and from blood and from strangled and from fornication. This is the book that they did not understand. There is another book. I call it the 67th book of the Bible. But maybe a thinking mind will easily get that this book they did not include in the Bible because they do not have a copy. But this is a particular book. One critic said, oh, it is in the book of Acts. No. That book is separate from the book of Acts. It is the book of Acts that tells us that there is such a book or an epistle. The book of Acts describes to us that there is a book that were written by the apostles, every one of them uh, agreeing or uh, giving their approval that a book be written to be sent to Syria, Cilicia, and Antioch. All of the apostles and all of the elders of the church and the brethren. 1523 of the book of Acts. And they wrote letters by them after this manner. The apostles and elders and brethren sent greeting unto the brethren which are of the Gentiles in Antioch and Syria and Cilicia. Oh, that is uh, the information there. The apostles, the brethren, uh, the elders, they wrote letters by them after this manner, Luke is uh, informing us in the book of Acts that the apostles, the elders, and the brethren collaborated with each other to write a particular book inspired by the Holy Spirit to be sent to Antioch, Syria, and Cilicia. And they do not know that this is a particular book other than the book of Acts. That's why they are saying that there are only 66 books now. But I know more than 66. And they say there are only 40 authors of the book of the Bible. No, there are more than 40. They can be easily 100. Because the apostles, the elders, and the brethren wrote a book. And you can Google it, which is the 67th book of the Bible. You can Google it. 
you can search for it in any uh, search engine and you can dare say unto me ah oh, brother Eli you just copied it that in the internet there is no scholar and there is no religion that revealed this truth within the Bible brother Daniel what do you say about that brother Eli they can try googling it but uh, they would not find that one and the, it is really something that we have heard from you and we have understood all the details of uh, this epistle that was written by the apostles, the elders, and uh, the brethren. And uh, the banner by which it was written was uh, described in the book uh, of Acts, uh, Brother Eli. And uh, this is uh, really something that would give us the idea as uh, to how many men wrote the Bible it is uh, far different from the usual understanding and the, the usual things that you can find in the informations that are being given in the internet or any other information source where you can find the authors of the Bible, they say, is about 40. And uh, as you said, Brother Eli, that is not going to be the case uh, if we are going to consider that there is another book that was not uh, found and that is the reason why it was not uh, incorporated into the compilation of uh, the Bible and it is the 67th book that can be considered written by the apostles, the elders and uh, the brethren and if you are going to count them all there is no specific or particular number that was uh, given because the elders and the brethren don't have the exact number where you can count them to add to the writers of uh, the Bible. But this is a fact that cannot be denied that it is part of uh, the books that were written. It so happened that uh, they were not able to find and a copy of it if i may interfere it is one of the most important books of the bible because it was not written by only a man or two or three may i say to you brother daniel donian the book of romans was written by two people at least maybe you do not know that it is ascribed to the effort of the Apostle Paul. But you see, in chapter 16, there came somebody telling us the truth, that he is the one writing the book of Romans. Let us read 1620, Brother Daniel. And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Timothy, my work fellow, and Lucius, and Jason, and Sosipater, my kinsmen, salute you. I, Tertius, who wrote this epistle, salute you in the Lord. So it is not the Apostle Paul writing it physically. It was Tertius used by the Apostle Paul as a penman. But did the scholars consider the person of Tertius as a writer? No. We have read uh, the scholars, they did not mention Tertius as one of the writers of the Bible. The reality is Tertius is writing. They did not include it. So their information that there are 40 penmen is lacking it is not the truth especially so if you consider the account of luke telling us that the apostles the elders and the members of the church assembled in jerusalem in chapter 15 of the book of acts corroborated together to write a particular a very special epistle to the Gentiles and it was sent into Antioch and to Syria and to Cilicia 
And this is a very special book. We know that this is inspired by the Holy Spirit because James said in 1528 of the book of Acts, it seemed good to the Holy Ghost and to us to write and to teach this part of the teaching of Christ. So it is a book surely inspired by the Holy Spirit and the apostles. All of them corroborated. So it is not just the writing of one apostle. Did you get that gravity of that book that was written in Jerusalem to be sent to Syria, Cilicia, and Antioch? Did you get that uh, gravity, Brother Daniel? There are so many writers who wrote it. Yes, Brother Eli, considering that uh, a lot of people corroborated to write this epistle, that means this is a very important book. And they agreed in uh, the principle and in the information that will be included in this letter or in this book, Brother Eli. They were in agreement to write this and the content of this book was corroborated by all these people, Brother Eddie. It was first heard in the Bible exposition of the members of MCGI, Brother Joseph. And you heard it first here in our exposition dedicated to Europe, Israel, Africa, Middle East, North America. January 20, 2021, 1.50 p.m. Hora de Brasil. But it was heard in the church something like four or five months ago, Brother Joseph. That is true, Brother Eli. I see it inevitable to unravel this before our friends in the internet. Because of the question of Brother Daniel Donian. And I hope Brother Daniel Donian understood the answer to his question. Yeah, yeah. Um, Brother Eddie, thanks, thanks be to God for, for you. And um, from, the, from the teaching right now, I am greatly convinced. And I know whatever time um, somebody may bring uh, this into debate, then of course I know which of the scripture to take him to right away. And thanks be to God for you and the rest of the brethren of the Church of God International. You are welcome, Brother Daniel. Remember, you heard it first in the MCGI Bible Exposition that there is a 67th book in the Bible. And we know the content of that 67th book of the Bible, not only 66. And the author of that 67th book is not just one person. It is a collaboration between the apostles, the elders, and the members of the church in Jerusalem. 